wardrobe malfunction. Wow, look at this spirit in the party gear. We have a yellow nose cone or ray dome and a rear cowling that is also yellow. Wow. And now our wardrobe malfunction spirit, Spirit 3877 bound for DT Dubs. On engine number one, the cowling seems to be appropriate. It's on the other side, engine number two, that has the yellow rear cowling. But they are in a hurry. Never know when you might see the last party livery. So we got to get this one, especially since it's operating with the wardrobe malfunction. Past the chock full TOC ramp with an A33900 Neo parked next to an A350900 XWV. And there it goes. Good job, Spirit. Say hello to the crew of Delta 8862 to Detroit. The unconventional flight number leads us to believe that this is some kind of charter. Not a ferry, because I can see people moving about in there. There's people, see? What could this flight be up to? Who could it be taking to Detroit? We don't know. If it's few people, we might get a rapid rotation and rocket ship climb out. Oh, they're accelerating quickly, that's for sure. There, oh yeah, that's up quick. That is up quick. Hot God, we got ourselves a Sky Team! Delta 1941 to Puerto Vallarta. Sky Team using its smallest and weakest aircraft, the 737-800, but it is still more powerful than most. Puerto Vallarta is a vacation destination, so maybe Sky Team is just looking to get away for a while. I'm sure it's been working very hard, saving lives, saving property, and saving the day. So maybe it's planning on lounging on the beach, soaking up the sun, because clearly there isn't any sun here at the world's busiest airport. And there it goes! Sky Team, Sky Team, wherever there's trouble, there's Sky Team! Delta 37 Heavy, RNF Snuffy, Clear Off 261. RNF Snuffy, Clear Off 267, Delta 837. Delta 837 off to Honolulu. As is customary, this time of year, Billy Glicky Maka is the thing to say on a bright. Hawaiian Christmas Day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright, the sun to shine by day and all the stars at night. Melikaliki Maka is the wise way. To say Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas, Korean Airlines 35 Heavy. A 747-8 lowercase i. Wonderful score. The best Hartsfield has to offer is right here. They are arriving a little bit late, about an hour and a half late as a matter of fact. Usually slated for the 8.30 to 9 a.m. arrival, this is coming in more around 10.15 to 10.25. There's also something behind it I need to obtain, so pardon me if I seem a little bit distracted. Oh, the majesty of a 747 passenger carrying aircraft. Koreans are the only ones who bring it to us. There it goes. 
confirm flaps down. Do you want the authorities coming out? What? Because the flaps are down? Uh, I don't want to say you're in Russia, Sergeant Freeze. Sagan Freeze. Green Air 035, uh, cross 26 left, join Echo Ground for 9. Uh, Echo, uh, one, two, point nine, well, they're in trouble. Meanwhile, United Airlines, 2836 out of Dulles. Boy, now I'm distracted by the flaps down demand. United, I'm just waiting for more radio transmissions scolding the Koreans. What in the hell was that about? Never mind. So this United 757-200 is a gift out of the nation's capital. They usually service us with 737s, but today... It says 757-200. It's glorious, beautiful, in the full-blown United livery. What a wonderful score. Now, back to the Koreans and the authorities being called on them. What in the hell was going on? This is the crew of Delta 8861. Another presumed charter to CVG. We do have some window shades open. I don't know if I see any people on board, however. And here we go, a 764 charter, or ferry, charter or ferry. Let's see how quickly they get up. CBG ain't that far from here. NFL charters usually begin operating on Saturdays for their pickups and drop-offs. Yeah, that's up quick. It's up pretty quick. Look at it go. Oh my god, there's a hawkery sitting right next to a 737 Max 8. Oh man. It's a random act of general aviation, November 328 rim job, I believe, is... Ooh, that's sharp looking. It's out of Auburn, Alabama. November 528 rim job. Oh god, I'm sorry. It is quite blustery and quite cold up here, so catching the random act of general aviation is taking all of my skill. No, I don't have much skill. Darn! One of the few 787 Dreamliners we get here at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Most of the international carriers will bring us A350s or maybe a 777 on occasion or maybe an A3. Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Forget what I'm saying. Let's just look at KLM 623 in the baby blue. It is gorgeous. That's why it has a Roman numeral X after it. Hopefully it will hurdle the Senko shaft. Yes, it will. Damn near perfect landing, even though the controller didn't tell them what the winds were. Oh, shit. Go around. Go around. Let's see. 52, 10, the aircraft that just landed in front of this said they might have popped a tire. We've got a sidestep since 26 right had a tire popped on it. Delta 83 Heavy is back there behind it. Oh, things just got interesting. So now we have an inboard. Ops is on the case. 
This is a 757 right here, or the pop tire. Delta 83 Heavy's in for 26 right? They might need to go around their sidestep. Delta 83 Heavy. That's us, just inside AJ for 26 right. Delta 83 Heavy, can you accept 26 left? Yes. That's firm up, Delta 83 Heavy. Delta 83 Heavy, takes two runway 26. Yes! We don't have 26 left, Delta 83 Heavy. Autopilot coming off. Delta 530. Delta 530, go ahead. Hey, we see come to a stop. We're getting notifications. Is there a way to get the operation truck to come look at it? Or if you can come anywhere around here? Let me and do now a sidestep. Heavy. Uh, God, look how much closer that is. Okay. Uh, there is a couple pieces of rubber on. Can we go ahead and show it closed? 2 6 right is now closed. Pieces of tire debris. Can you make Echo 5? Ooh. Yeah, we got it. Got a nice another layoff. Just make the left turn here at Echo 5. My God, it's so much closer. Right, Echo 5, it might not appear to be closer for those of you at home, but it is much closer. Inboard landing on account of a blown tire. What luck. What luck. God. So much closer. Damn. Wow. Now, the aircraft with the blown tire that brought about not only go around, but a pair of inboard landings is being taken a look at. Are we going around? That's long. Just land. Good God, look at the float. Jesus. That guy floated like halfway down the runway. Now what are we going to do? Oh, going around. Woo! Why did he do that? Frontier 14, climb and maintain 4,000. 4,000. Yes! Two go arounds on the day. Alright, uh, Ops 4, go to 121.65 uh, for the frequency now. 2165, please. Got a 530, go to 121.65. You can talk to Ops on that frequency now. 477 is still safe. Frontier Flight 418, what's that frequency? Delta 980 Heavy in from Bogota or Bogota, Colombia. Want me to pan out to give you an idea as to where we are standing. Look, isn't that neat? Delta 980 Heavy looks to be in perfect shape for a perfect landing. And there they go. Uh oh. Hey, there's cops down there looking at us. Uh oh, this is interesting. Well, don't worry about the cops. Oh, he's continuing to move. There was a cop down on the street below us, but I think they realized he couldn't do anything about us. Nice. Welcome to a shooting location we have not visited in probably a year. The hill. The south side hill. Using a pickup truck, Tom's pickup truck to be precise, we were able to gain access to it. And here's a 764 out of Orlando to help ring in the occasion. Nice bounce. Hell yeah, dude. Don't mind those power... Damn! Yeah. Don't mind the power cables. It's all a part of the hill experience, but uh, still lovely to be back up here, front lit on the south side. We have to thank Tom for driving us in his pickup truck. Yeah. Once again, don't mind the power lines. Your France is doing really good. Oh, yeah. On double bogeys. Oh, a little bit of... A little bit of wobble, but they make it just fine.
thrust, reverse, and spoil. Whatever the French words for those are. 763 on the roll to Bogota or Bogota, Colombia. Oh, they're up quick. Can we get a tower shot? I bet we can. I bet we can. Yes, we can. Hooray. And there it goes. Lufthansa 444. It has been forever since we have seen a four hole Lufthansa 444. It has been forever since we've actually seen Lufthansa instead of Eurowings Discover, which they were sending to us for the last couple of months. But today, it's like a slice of heaven with the A340-300 and the classic livery, not the enhanced livery. Don't know how many more of these there are out there. Nice. Touching down on double bogeys. Oh, watch the flowers blossom. So the 131 heavy Atlanta Tower across the way. Turbulence heavy Airbus A340 is over the numbers. From me 27 left when 2909 are good length. Not over the numbers anymore, baby. Qatari 755 heavy A350 900 XWB today. As opposed to the 1000 or the 777-300 or the 777-200, all of which they bring occasionally. We're just glad it's front lit. Short final. As you can see here. Screw it up, Ataris. Go around. I hear your World Cup sucks. But what do I know? I just like your airline. Weight on wheels, thrust reverse and spoil. After a nice long, long flight. Probably 12 to 14 hours from Doha. And now a Dreamliner extraordinaire departing from runway 27 right. Front lit view of a south side departure. We haven't enjoyed one of these quite some time. Oh, yay, KLM. Thank you so much for servicing us with the Dreamliner Roman numeral X. Picking up some speed now. Rotation should be right about there. There we go. Nice. Can we get a tower? No, nope, can't get a tower shot with it, but we can still get it anyway. Yes, perfectly done, KLM. Um, 624 heavy or 272 heavy, which is what the tower calls it for some reason. Well, punch me in the scrotum and call me Susan. FedEx 502, the perennial 767-300 has now been downgraded to a FedEx 757-200F. Has it f***ed me in the face? Narrow body fed, still beautiful in our dwindling sunlight. Can it hurdle the Cinco? I believe it can. Yes, yes, and yes, it can. So FedEx 502 Heavy, which was once an MD10, MD11, A300, and 767 is now a 757. Delta 296 out of Tokyo Haneda is a flagship, flagship, flagship on a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I don't believe I've had the opportunity to do that yet. Hey look, a bird wants to join the party. Oh crap. The bird realized there was a wide body nearby and freaked out. Now it is some short final. Very fantastic. One of the premier flagship runs, Tokyo Haneda. It's just a minute. Whoa, hey, what are the Canadians doing? <laughs> Forget that, don't worry. We'll get back to them. It's Delta 296. They are home. It's hard to miss this massive contrail cruising overhead at 34,000 feet. It is an Atlas. 747 
out of Anchorage bound for Miami. Oh, it's even got an Atlas belly. If I can hold it still enough. Oh, yes. Look at that. Way up there. Wish you were coming my way, sir. Change your departure frequency to 13347, runway 27 right, line of way. 3347, line of way, 27 right, Delta 44. Got a 404 Arnav Slaw, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Arnav Slaw, 27 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 404. Got a 464 Atlanta Tower, change your departure frequency to 13347, runway 27 right, line of way. 13347, clear for takeoff, Atlanta Tower, clear land 27 left, wind 30011, gust 15. Clear land 27 left, over 2511. Atlanta Tower, silver tiny 727 left, visual at default. Southwest 987, Atlanta Tower, clear land 27 left, wind 29013. Clear to land on 27 left, southwest 987. Central aircraft for our latest hotel departure. Our trade is uniform, wind 30011, altimeter 3. Uh, 739, RNAS to impasse, runway 26 left, let's take off. RNAS to impasse, clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, Delta 739. Air shuttle 6044, count out of port, have a good flight. Cut in departure 6044. Endeavor 4666, Atlanta Tower, runway 26 left, on a boy. Endeavor 4666, RNAS to impasse, runway 26 left, let's take off. RNAS to impasse, clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff.